The implementation of such a wide range of reforms in Ukraine um, become realistic and possible by um, three major forces uh, that are promoting reforms in Ukraine. So first first is civil society and media in Ukraine. There are lots of uh, powerful NGOs and independent experts. Reanimation package of reforms is one of the examples of how uh, NGOs and think tanks can unite in order to promote uh, reforms process in Ukraine, draft laws, do policy do the lobbying and uh, advocacy and communication of the uh, reforms, work with parliament, government and presidential administration in order to make reforms happen in, uh, in Ukraine. Uh, media is the huge partners in reforms promotion. They are the ones who highlight all the major reform agenda in the country and um, uh, open and put uh, up front all of the major cases also on corruption and uh, again of what is needed to be done in Ukraine. Second powerful uh, force uh, is the um, our reformers, uh, young reformers and professionals uh, in different uh, governmental bodies. Most of them came from business and they left their previous life after Maidan in order to serve the country and to promote the reforms. And third driving force are our international partners. What we usually do, we try to convey the messages through different channels of the priority of reforms and usually international partners support us and also push press and uh, cooperate with our government in order to make this happen.